I was born in 1942. I don't want to give away my age, but, <laughs> but I guess you could all figure it out. I grew up in St. Louis as a youngster. I attended the Epstein Hebrew Academy, I graduated from there. And then I went on to uh, Yeshiva's Tells in Cleveland. And then somebody suggested a shidduch with my wife, uh, who was living there on the grounds of the yeshiva. And uh, frankly, I never knew that she even existed <laughs> before they suggested the shidduch. He doesn't know what the word burnout means. He's a man that today um, is still teaches and runs the yeshiva and learns with the same enthusiasm and the same excitement as he did 30 years, 40 years ago. His warm kite, his giving himself over to the Talmudim is just superb. You do not find many Rosh Hashivas of that caliber. It was clear to me over the years many things, and I can't go to all the Pratim and all the details, that the Rebarsha's hand was really pushing over here, and we were just Shluchim de Rachmana, messengers of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to be able to uh, be Mohammed Taira and uh, be Mahazik Taira. We always felt when Reb Shimon Davin, the Shari Shemayim opened up. I get emotional because we love him so much. I feel close to him. The personality, the warmth that emanates from Rabbi Zephrin is paramount in the relationship of the Talmidim, myself, just the whole city, everybody loves Rabbi Zephrin. Rabbi Shima Zephrin is like the, one of the beams of the building. The beam is what holds the building. His, his only concern is the yeshiva and, and the learning and the administrative of the yeshiva. He's an icon of Hasmoda. He's a, a sample of a, of a product of someone who's put so much effort and time into learning Torah. In one word, Rabbi Zephyrin is awesome. So there's a word from Chaim Velozhner. It says in Pirkei Ovis, you know, Marita Torah Harbe, Al Tachsi Torah Asmacho. If you learned a lot of Torah, right, you shouldn't pat yourself on the back, right, and, and say you're so great because because that's why you're created to learn Torah, so you're not, you know, you know Marita Torah Harbe, if you learned a lot of Torah, don't keep the taiva for yourself. Ain't taiva la taiva. Don't keep the taiva for yourself. Give it over to others. Transmit it. Because that's why you were created. You were created not just to learn. You were created to see that others should learn. Baruch Hashem, he's been with us for over 40 years. And we wish him only success and arichis yomim gesund and nachas from his whole family. And he should be able to continue to be married to Taiva. Rabbi Zephyr follows in that. Uh and the way of her illustrious parents. She, the amount of hours he puts in, very few people know it. She, uh, day or night, she can't relax. Her only concern is the yeshiva. It was Tufus where I had to be in yeshiva, morning, afternoon, night, and the burden of raising the children really rested on her. And uh, I have to say, she did a splendid job, much better than if I would have to do it. 